In 2008, with the support of Fulbright, I found myself in a district of Rio de Janeiro known as Praça Onze. Far from the glamour of the recent Olympics and World Cup, yet geographically close to the magnificent Maracanã Stadium, Praça Onze was and continues to be a struggling community where crack cocaine is rampant and fights break out between rival gangs on the streets that police refuse to patrol. In one abandoned Praça Onze parking lot stood a circus, an incongruous sight, yet no more unusual than its motley crew of young performers, each searching for a life apart from the drug-related violence around them. That was the setting in which I began documenting their stories through film. I had a history in circus myself. A few years earlier, I had, I had been with a Brazilian circus a few states away. I'd been an aerialist and an acrobat. Um, I'd performed on the trapeze and on the lira, which is like a vertical hula hoop hanging, spinning in the air. And in that circus where I was a performer, there was a performance group as well as a social project for children and teenagers at risk for joining the drug trade. Circuses have always been places where people of different backgrounds come together. Circus culture has a long history of adopting into the tent people who need to find their way out of circumstances. So the concept of social circus, as it's called, is not a new one, but rather a rebranding and repackaging of a mentality that has existed since the earliest circuses, which were just simple equestrian shows punctuated by clowns coming in to entertain the audience between acts. But the term social circus formalize that concept and expands its reach and capacity. As I learned more about social circus and its growing popularity worldwide, I became increasingly interested in the stories of the individuals, the participants in these kinds of projects. When I arrived in Rio, I, I didn't take out my camera for two months. I just trained with the performers. I got to know them. Um, we practiced together and rehearsed. We, we practiced circling around the trapeze bar and climbing up the lines. We did a thing called hand-to-hand, -hand, which is where one person is stacked on top of the other, or hand-to-foot. And we, in the beginning, the jokes were all about me. <laughs> I, I had a funny accent. I had dorky clothes. And, but as time went on, we, we sweated together, side by side, doing our push-ups and handstands and splits and we developed friendship and trust. Um, the people that are profiled in my film are fascinating. They're fascinating people with stories that are so interesting and exciting and wisdom and experiences. There's one person that stood, stood out to me immediately when I first arrived. Um, he has an infectious laugh and his personality is as big as he is. His name is De Jefferson Mangis da Silva. And in my film, the characters speak for themselves. They tell their own stories and there's no narration. So I will take this opportunity to let De Jefferson introduce himself. Que as crianças, ela vivendo dentro da comunidade, o dia a dia, sem fazer sem atividade nenhuma, ali ela só vai crescendo com aquele ritmo ali. Droga, vagabundo, fuzil. Droga, vagabundo, fuzil. Aqui, região de Praça 11 e Praça da Bandeira, onde eu fui, fui criado, assim. Ai, meu Deus do céu! Eu era um tipo de pessoa que as pessoas olhavam pra mim e falavam que assim, esse garoto tem dois lugares, ou cadeia ou caixão.
Tenho muitos irmãos. Sem exagerar, eu tenho uns 30 irmãos. Tá vendo um quarto você da gente mesmo? Ah, Essa é minha irmã, Missilane. Ela é um pouco mentidinha e dia, mas é a gente boa, a cara de coração. Ah, uau! Olha, vai pegar um caderno? <risos> Concentra, Sussu. Que se eu tivesse uma habilidade que seria, o que eu seria, eu seria o Jaspio. É um espelho que era de desenho, armado. <risos> E que quando eu era pequeno nós assistia muito, eu e meu irmão. E ele tinha umas motos, ele pulava assim, coisa, andava sobre a água, voava. Tudo a criança, né? Pensa que pode fazer. Algumas acabam até se machucando, pulando. Você que poder espacado, o nossa criação não foi fácil. Minha mãe trabalhou muito, ralou muito. Ela trabalhava em, em coisas, muitas vezes grávida. Domingo merece. É, né? Passa muitas verdades. O dever da minha mãe, comigo, ela já fez. Tô, tô, tô criado já. Tem meus 21 anos. Eu sei o que é, eu posso cair no mundo. Sem medo, o dever dela já fez. O que ela faz, o resto que ela faz pra mim é a favor. Já são. Meu presente. Deixa o presente aí, Gerson. Já quero estar viajando. Fui circo de sair da vida, de fora. Dar uma casinha melhor pra minha mãe. Meus irmãos. Coisas assim simples. Throughout my time there, I heard many of de Jefferson's philosophical takes on life and strategies for handling challenging circumstances, many of which he inherited at birth. In and around Praça Onzi, there are few opportunities for people to work outside of the drug trade. Schools are in disrepair and do not provide a viable path to success, and rates of people surviving to adulthood are low. Circus, as well, is a high-stakes game with severe consequences for mistakes. So in all aspects of their lives, the Praça Onzi circus community became highly skilled in summoning courage jumping through hoops, and maintaining balance along a precarious fine line. From T. Jefferson, I learned these things, as well as lessons about determination and perseverance and drive and techniques for managing stress. In 2005, everything was happening very fast. I lost my brother, I lost my house. Minha casa pegou fogo, eu fiquei morando, voltei de novo pra rua, voltei a morar debaixo de Marquise, entendeu? Não tinha onde morar, não tinha pra onde ir, entendeu? Eu tava cuidando da, da, do meu, da minha mãe, cuidava dos meus irmãos, cuidava da minha irmã, mas e eu? Depois eu fui ver que eu também tava precisando de ajuda. Eu fico estressado, eu fico aborrecido, eu vou à praia. Só pra sentar e ficar vendo as ondas. Ficar sentindo aquela brisa, aquele cheiro do mar. <risos> Ai, gente. Ai, 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 como é que tá batendo, não, mano? Até que, que, a, que a vista daqui é bonita, né? Vamos ficar aqui. Você quer pular? Ah, 
Ah, vamos lá. Ó. Tem pedra. Então, você que com dois, você ser Não, o você é o primeiro, pô. Olha, eu não aqui. É que essas coisas não, não, não pode olhar muito, é igual a ela. Tem que ir, ó. Vou pular dali primeiro, depois vou entrar. Ai, meu Deus! <risos> <laughs> I miss the Jefferson. I miss his laugh. I miss his company. My year with the Praza Onzi circus community transformed my life. I've been back to visit Jefferson and the other characters in the film several times since that time. And, uh, and I followed them. We stay in touch on Facebook and sometimes by phone. I've watched how the performers' lives have developed and changed since that time. I've held their new babies. <laughs> I, I call them on their birthdays. Things are becoming more difficult in Rio. Now, as the Brazilian economy tumbles further into recession and stores are closing and services that used to serve that, services that used to be available to that community are diminishing. I called to Jefferson last week to tell him about this talk. He's 30 now, and in the face of long odds to Jefferson, I am happy to report, continues training at the circus. And in fact, he's with a performance group, a troupe in Rio, that tours in Europe. <laughs> he has shows in Stockholm and London, and he sent me a picture so that if you go there, you can recognize him in one of his new roles on stage. <laughs> Now more than ever, this type of cultural exchange and community building is vital to our world. In circus, it doesn't matter your neighborhood or background. It's about trust. It's about knowing that someone is there for you so you don't fall. Circus, a combination of sports, performance, and art, brings people together across cultures and languages. And so does Fulbright with its mission to increase mutual understanding between people of different cultures. So when I think about it, Circus and Fulbright, Fulbright and Circus, they're really about the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I think now, more than ever, <laughs> this type of cultural exchange and community building is vital to our world. I have immense gratitude to Fulbright for the opportunities it has afforded me. And I will carry my experiences to Jefferson and the Praça Onzi Circus community and the ideals that Fulbright has instilled with me for the rest of my life. Thank you.